Welcome to 21,000 Georgia Avenue here in historic Brookville, Maryland. So I get the pleasure of presenting this wonderful historic home built in 1844 and sitting on 6.71 acres. This Pleasant Valley or Pleasant View was a famous antique store and home for many, many years. You probably passed by this uh, glorious home on your way north on Georgia Avenue and said, I would love to see this, own this home. Now is your special chance. So let's go take a look at this wonderful home and gorgeous property. Welcome to 1844. Here we are standing in the historic part of the home. We just came through the main entrance and this is going to be our formal living room area. Take you through hardwood floors in here. There is a door that leads us out to a private porch. It is fenced in for a very small dog, but it is fenced in there. And that is gonna overlook our pond as well. All right, let's go back in. So straight ahead, that's our front door. To the left, that gets into the newer part of the home in the dining room area. Stairs leading upstairs. We're going to head to the right. So over here to the right, this is going to be under stair storage. Here is our first level full bath with tub, linen closet. And then this is our first bedroom, hardwood floors, two windows. Now let's head to the rest of the home. All right, as we cross this threshold, we are, we are coming into an addition on the home. So this is our wonderful dining room with bay window. Sitting area, could be a nice family room as well. With stove, stone fireplace. And this leads us into our kitchen area. We have a slider that goes out to that uh, fenced in, little fenced in yard. You've got a great area here if you want to do uh, eat in, uh, eat in little kitchen area. That'd be great. Ceiling fan. Then this is our kitchen, nice galley kitchen, lots of counter space, lots of cupboard space as well. All right, let's go take another look back through that dining room area with fireplace. This probably used to be an outdoor kitchen area that was enclosed. And then this leads to our back staircase. And we'll show you the, the upstairs here in a second. This is our side door that leads out to the garage. Then this is our utility area, their well equipment and our boiler. And you got some nice storage in here. So as you're leaving the utility room, you've got your side entrance here. Got another full bath here. So this is our third full bath in the property. Stairs that lead to the second floor. And then this is our laundry utility area with access to the dairy. All right, let's go take a look upstairs. Here we are in the historic part of the home. This is bedroom number two. Check out these wide planked floors. We just came up the uh, stairway that is in the 1844 part of the home. You have a full bath here. Behind the door is a uh, shower. And then I'll show you. This is one of our larger bedrooms. You've got a closet there. So we've got this Really big bedroom space in here. Again, those wide planked floors. And you'll see this, this door here, this leads to 
the addition uh, of the property. There probably was a fireplace in, uh, in this wall that's since been uh, closed off at some point. So through this door leads to bedroom number four. All right, so here we are in the fourth bedroom. Take a look at this large space. This was connected through that doorway uh, from bedroom number three. This can be completely sealed off. It has the back staircase to gain access. But if you've ever heard someone say, oh, older homes don't have any closet space, check out how much closet space this bedroom has. You've got one large walk-in closet here. You've got a second large walk-in closet. And then a third walk-in closet. Just a lot of great space up here. Let's go take a look at our fifth bedroom. Here's our fifth bedroom, hardwood floors. This sits right over the dairy. Really nice space, lots of light through these windows. And then this, these two bedrooms are also privately serviced by uh, the back staircase. So here we are coming out of the kitchen laundry area and you're greeted by this stone patio and this wonderful pond. So this pond has been uh, the center of many celebrations here at Pleasant Valley. Uh, they used to stock the pond for birthday parties and it is a spring fed pond. So it's continually bringing in fresh water uh, from a creek that's on the property and flowing out to Gold's Branch over here. Just up the hill was a mill back in the 1800s. And this home was built for uh, the mill worker uh, who, who ran the mill. So being a working farm, you needed some buildings and some technology. And back in the 1800s, one of the best technologies was a room like this. So without refrigeration, you relied on Earth's cooling abilities to keep your dairy and meats cool. So this is the dairy. So check out the very thick walls here for insulation. And you'll see there is this trough here. And this trough is spring fed and the spring water comes out at a colder temperature and they would set their milk canisters into this trough. It came in from this side, flowed and came out a hole on this side. And also if you'll notice, there are hooks on the ceiling. So they would use this to store meats that they had slaughtered on the farm. So just a really cool property. So as we exit the dairy, here is our stone patio and we'll get a chance to explore the rest of the outbuildings on the property. Going from our left, that is our four stall barn. And then straight ahead, you'll see is our tool shed. Here is affectionately known as the dog kennel, but I also call it the studio. In between the studio and the two car garage, you will see that is the chicken coop or what was the antique shop. And that of course is our two car garage. And then we have a spring house that is out in the pasture. So let's go check out these buildings. All right, so here we are standing outside the four stall barn. So here, let's come on in here. This is where you would prepare your horse. You've got a hay loft above, lots of storage for hay. And you've got one, two, three, and then a fourth stall there. There's a loafing shed on the other side of this stall. This barn's been used for many different things, but could be converted easily into back into a working barn uh, with, with a little bit of work. As you, you'll see throughout this property, there are loads of fencing and paddocks throughout. There are two riding rings, and these fields are sectioned off. Here's one riding ring. And as we look north, you'll, you'll Hopefully you can see the uh, the other one. And this property goes all the way up this hill. 
and you have this pine forest as well. Lots of black walnut trees throughout the property as well. So this is our tool shed. Every working farm needs a place to store your tractor, mowing equipment. Let's take a walk. You'll see here we are on the uh, other side of the pond. Through there, I don't know if you can see it well, there are boulders. These boulders were brought to the property by the glacial melt. That is the only explanation they have for how these large boulders showed up here on this property. All right, let's go take a look in the dog kennel or studio. So here we are walking into what's affectionately known as the dog kennel, or I like to call it the studio. Stairs leading upstairs to a loft. Lots of great space in here. Wood flooring. Can make this a man cave, she shed. Lots of great opportunities in here. And that leads us out to a great little courtyard. They used to actually have a beautiful garden here. That right there is a grape harbor. So you've got Grapevine still growing on the property. That's our two car garage. And then the historic home is just over the other side of the two car garage. Now we're gonna take a look at, again, what's affectionately known as the chicken coop, but was for many years, one of the finest antique stores in the area. So you have this space in here, these are concrete floors. The roof probably needs some work, um, but could easily be renovated, turned back into a wonderful space. Two showrooms, and then this area, officially the chicken coop uh, was, was an office area. space here. Again, lots of possibilities here at Pleasant Valley. Another great feature is this two-car garage here with basketball hoop that's a little bit lower than regulation size, so if you like dunking, great basketball hoop for that. Here's our two-car garage currently being used for storage. Then I'll show you, if you did want to go back in time, there is a little carriage house. So back when horse and buggies were a thing, you would pull your buggy, back it into this space right here. And this is where your carriage uh, would reside in this, what we call the carriage house, which is just off of that utility room. And then your horse would, uh, would face out this way. Want to finish this tour up here on top of the hill overlooking the property. You'll see all the fence lines. The property is well fenced. Down there you'll see there is a spring house that feeds this creek. Down there you see our two riding rings and there's a creek that bisects the land in between them. You'll see there is a, uh, along with those black walnut trees, you'll see uh, that fencing there. Uh, there's a creek that runs right along that. There is our chicken coop antique store, the tool shed, the kennel studio, and the barn. And then over here to our right, this is the pine forest. And then through there is our pond and home. So hopefully you get a chance to take a look in person at this wonderful once in a lifetime property here at 21. 000 Georgia Avenue in historic Brookville, Maryland. Thanks for visiting.